So the question in terms of the acute care services that are being developed for older people, I think you're looking at a whole spectrum. Uh, the traditional hospital model is going to change in the next decade. What we're talking about is we are very interested in developing person-centered care. The person being not just about the patient, but also the family and friends and the care providers around the person. We want to talk about shifting the focus from an illness model to actually a wellness model. And I think sustainable care is going to be the key. In other words, it is not just the experience that occurs in acute care hospitals, but as well in terms of the things that happen afterwards when they transition back into the community. It is really important that we develop these programs uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, there are lots of new things that are happening in healthcare service delivery, um, innovation that can be disruptive. In order to really leverage and take advantage of these disruptive innovation, we have to change the model of care. What we are talking about is, for instance, the way how we use space within the hospital setting and acute care setting, uh, that is going to change in order to reflect on some of the newer priorities. And another reason is, is after all, about the older people and their loved ones. So in order to provide the best possible care for them so that their experience in acute care can be transformative, that's what we need to do. In terms of what we're going to see differently in aging in the next decade, uh, the first thing that we're going to see is that uh, there is going to be a renewed emphasis of aging in place. In other words, uh, how do we support uh, seniors and their loved ones in terms of aging in their own communities? That is really important. Um, obviously, there will be times uh, when people will need to change the living arrangements, um, say, uh, into um, other kind of care settings. However, we have to make sure that happens uh, when the timing is accurate and when the circumstances and the context is correct. So I think that aspect is going to be a lot of energy is going to be spent in terms of how do we support seniors in their own communities.